six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video, it's again about the Sonic Pad combined with the Ender 3 S1. So this time I'm going to do a Benji test, I have bumped up all the speeds through the clipper, uh, well mainsail on my PC, uh, well through Cura I already gave in, choose for print speed 400, infill speed 400, wall speed 200, outer wall speed 200, inner wall speed 200, top and bottom speed 200 and travel speed 500. So these are pretty high print speeds. So let's see what it's going to bring to the printer. Printer is ready and it's going to hopefully not burn itself. And do the whole whole test. Let me just turn this on. I forgot to turn the water cooling kit on. As you can see now, it's starting already and doing the thing, the print pretty fast. Let me adjust the speed to bump it up a little bit more. I'm going to go to 150%. Let's go to 200. Bump it up to 50 now. Thank you. 
300 Let's bump it up to We're at four Six hundred. I don't see any much more increasing in speeds to be honest. I think there might be a limitation of it. And I'll show you guys also the speeds that it's reaching at the moment. You can see here which speeds are being used from time to time. It's around 3000 millimeters per second. So you're yeah, really like pushing the machine to the limits actually. But as you can see the machine can actually hold the speed without even um, skipping the filament or the uh, extruder is not having any trouble at the moment no glocks whatever 
for the speed that it's actually outputting from this machine it's pretty decent so guys now the print has failed in the end here so I had to stop it this is what it came out of as you can see it's a cooling issue that's been ho happening on this print but overall when you look at it if there is a proper cooling for your parts cooling fan it might even be coming out really good as you can see some parts that didn't need enough cooling it came out really nice but on the parts that it had to be you know doing the walls it had to have faster cooling it didn't come out well so let's compare this to the bamboo around 35 minutes until this stage so let's check what a bamboo 70 minutes benchy when it compared to this one what it looks like so guys this is the print from bamboo x1 carbon it's a 70 minutes benchy you can see there is proper cooling on this because you don't see any imperfections or layer skipping or whatsoever compared to this one which is a 35 minute failed print if you put it next to each other you can see that they're almost identical from this angle you can see here but when you look it on the sideways they're not so yeah it's just a cooling issue but if you have a proper cooling on your parts cooling fan i think you can get close to this print result but in almost double the time double the time even that is great but this is a standard speed of the uh, bamboo x1 so if you want to make your printer faster you can with proper cooling as i said but it won't be as fast as a bamboo standard speed so anyways guys this was just some experimental speed testing i hope you liked it um hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye